What's going on, guys? I'm Jace. And I'm Josh. We are watching episode 13 of Ruby, called Forever Fall. What happened last time? Last time? Okay. Bad so, things. Bad things. John is pretty much fucked. Uh, what's that guy? John? Card Carden. Carden has... Carden dirt. Winchester. You can say that every time. Well, uh, it's kind of a cool name. Carden now has dirt on John. Well, he doesn't have any proof. He can't prove... I mean, yeah, he can't prove it. But it's still something. Do you really think Ospin doesn't know? I feel like I feel like Ospin knows, and you let him join anyway. I feel like Ospin. That's also smart. valid. I mean, I like, he I might like, have been. I feel, like Ospin, I feel like Ospin's too smart to like not know. I mean, you can't just turn in fake transcripts and stuff like that. That's well, he did. Ospin. Valid. Ospin made Jean the leader of Team Juniper. That too. That too. So, just imagine he imagine he finds out after like, oh shit, I made this guy leader. He finds out that oh, shit. Whatever. All right. Here we go. All right. How come Jean gets home so late? He's become rather scarce ever since he's been fraternized with Cart. That's weird. I don't know where they are, but they're clearly not on Earth because she's floating away from home. Oh, very funny. I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's doing. Do they all live together? And they're all in one room. Oh well, I mean, I know all, I know Team Ruby lives in one room, but they're all girls. Did you lock yourself out again? Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Got it. So, where have you been lately? I uh, I messed up. I did something I shouldn't have, and now Carden's got me on a leash, and Kira won't even talk to me. I'm starting to think coming to this school is a bad idea. Slide. I'm a failure. Aww. Nope. Nope? Nope. You're a leader now, Jean. You're not allowed to be a failure. But what if I'm a failure at being a leader? Nope. <laughs> Just no. Nope. Nope. You're not the easiest person to talk to about this kind of stuff. Nope. <laughs> well, Jean, maybe you were a failure when you were a kid. <sighs> you might have even been a failure the first day we met. <sighs> but you can't be one now. You know why? Uh, because... Because it's not just about you anymore. You've got a team now, Jean. We both do. And if we fail, then we'll just be bringing them down with us. We have to put our teammates first. And ourselves second. Your team deserves a great leader, Jean. And I think that can be you. Have a good night, Jean. Good pep talk. Probably busy with that dust project I gave you, but I'm gonna need you to go out and get me a bag of rapier wasps. Go uh. And make sure they've got some really big stingers. It's important, so don't screw this up. <sighs> he needs to go get wasps. Rapier wasps. Rapier wasps. Isn't a rapier like the sword that uh? I have no idea. Twice uses. Yes, students, I don't care. the Forest yeah. of Forever Fall is it's probably not beautiful. important. But we are not here to sightsee. Professor Peach has asked all of you to collect samples from the trees deep inside this Professor forest. Professor Peach? And I'm here to make sure that none of you die while doing so. Yeah. Hey, no silhouettes. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> Each of you is to gather one jar's worth of red sap. However, this forest is full of the creatures of Grimm, so be sure to stay by your teammates. We will rendezvous back here at four o'clock. Have fun. Come on, buddy. Let's go. They're hanging on the same team. Great work, Johnny boy. Now that wasn't too hard, was it? <laughs> I'm allergic to this stuff. Great, oh, great, great. So, John, I bet you're asking yourself, why did my buddy Carden ask me to collect six jars of tree sap when there's only five of us? That is one of the many questions I have asked myself today, yes? Well, come with me and you'll find out. Oh. 
I don't, I don't like this. Just don't sit right with me. <laughs> Cardin, she drank it all. What's going on? Hey, back. Pira? What are you. That's the girl. Red haired, know it all, thinks she's so smart. All right, boys. Last night, old John here managed to round up an entire box full of rapier wasps. And now, we're going to put him to work. <sighs> oh, no. Now, according to one of the essays you wrote for me last week, these nasty things love sweets. I'm thinking it's time we teach her a thing or two. And you're going to do it. Do what? Hit her with the sap. Either that, or I'll have a chat with Goodwitch, and you'll be on the first airship at a beacon. Screw that. Oh, yeah, no, don't do that. Don't do it. No. What did you say? Good boy. I Throw to him. No. <laughs> oh, you've done it now. <laughs> God damn it. Cut off at the board. Come on, you shouldn't have done what you should have done is I also should have opened the box. Yeah. I don't think he had the box. Box was somewhere else. It was brave. Bold move, John. Now he's gonna get his ass handed to him. See look, look at the thumbnail for the next for the next episode. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I'm Jace. I'm Josh. We'll see you guys in the next episode. We gotta watch it.